Hello lovely people! In today's video I thought I would do one more get ready with me. You guys seem to really enjoy my previous get ready with me so I thought you enjoyed watching, I enjoyed filming, so let's do more of those. Let me explain you why I look so rough today. First of all, it's so early in the morning, I just, I can't. I already moisturized, primed my face, it's ready for the makeup. I know that you guys like seeing me do my whole makeup routine, but listen. <laughs> you know, there are some people on YouTube that don't like doing their eyebrows on camera or applying their eyeliner on camera or you know the poses. I don't like priming on camera. I don't know what it is, I just I can't. When I do, I want my hands to be as clean as possible. You know, I want my hands to be super clean before I touch my face. And before I start filming, I usually set up the camera, you know, the lights, my boyfriend helps me with that, but I also, you know, touch things around the studio and I don't feel my hands clean enough to touch my face so yeah that's why I don't like applying primer on camera most of the times I do though because I know that you guys like seeing it but yeah sometimes I'm gonna use a brush to apply my primer which is not the best thing that you can do but you know I got that Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation I'm using the shade 150 now I like it so far I like it. It smells different. Don't ask me to explain. I can't. I can't. You know that I'm not good at explaining scents and colors and stuff like that. But it smells not like a foundation would usually smell. So, why I wake up so early this morning? Well, listen, I have stuff to do. Life to live. I woke up so early this morning because I'm gonna go get my bangs cut again. I don't know you guys, I have a very intense love-hate relationship with my bangs. One day I love them, the other day I just hate them. <laughs> and it's intense, I'm telling you. I really hate them some days. I get comments sometimes, you guys are asking me what happened with your bangs. They're up there. <laughs> See, they got long. If I let them down, they, they reach like my nose here. So... Yeah, they got pretty long. I think that one of the reasons that sometimes I hate them is because the girl that cut them for me, I mean, she's a hairdresser. I didn't just, I didn't just get a random girl from the street and told her, cut my bangs, you know? No, I didn't do that. I went to a saloon, but it was the first time that I went to that saloon. Bam, wrong. I didn't know that hairdresser. I mean, she just did her job. I understand, but it was different from what I wanted. I think that she started like she started my bangs too high here. So I just got disappointed, you know, I just, you know, I was not happy with them at some point. Also when I got them done, I remember that I told you guys that throughout my whole childhood I had bangs, so I'm pretty familiar with them. I thought to myself, yeah, I had bangs for so many years. It should be easy, you know, I should get used to them pretty quickly. Now there was one thing that Nobody told me. When you're a kid, you don't really care about how your hair looks, you know, you just, it can be a total mess, you don't care. But when you're my age, you start paying attention to your hair and you want it to look good. For me, that's a very difficult task, but that's a different subject. Nobody told me that the bangs would require so much effort in order to look good. You need to straighten them, you need to put hairspray on them, they require so much time and love and attention. But I'm gonna give them a try once again because I think that they looked good on me. Waking up with bangs the first days, oh my goodness. They were like like this. I was waking up and my, my bangs were straight up pointing to the sky and I was like you are not supposed to look like that. <laughs> Let's make my eyebrows look a little bit more presentable, you guys. Let's at least try. Yeah, I just don't know how to make my hair look cute. I guess I have very high expectations, but I don't have the skill to reach those expectations, you know? So anyways, we'll see how today will go. Hopefully it will be fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and fix my brows now. I'm gonna use the um, Maybelline gel this is basically a pomade i'm using the shade three so let's fix those brows i plucked them surprise <laughs> i was trying to grow them for a few weeks um but it it just it no it didn't happen i'm gonna give you a little advice here and please 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 remember it if you're trying to grow your eyebrows just remember what i'm gonna tell you now 
late night plucking is the worst kind of plucking. Don't do it. You'll be tempted. Don't do it. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Guys, I have a question. You know, I'm curious. I want to know stuff. So, listen. What do you think about the soap brow trend? If you've never heard of it before, here is how it works. You have a soap, you have a spoolie. You wet the spoolie, you rub it on the soap, and then you brush your brow hairs. It's supposed to just lock the brow hairs in place until it starts raining. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that trend. I never tried applying soap on my brows before. They say that it's it's something that it's life changing. It's something that, you know, it's so good. You need to try it out. But I'm terrified because, listen now, pay attention to what I'm gonna say. My parents had that friend, I think that he used to work with my father or something, I don't know, I don't know how they met. But that guy, I remember I was a kid, and that guy, instead of using gel to style his hair, he used soap. It was more affordable, you know, and it did the job. And I remember everybody telling him that don't use soap on your hair, it's damaging. Use products that are meant for your hair. Yeah, maybe they're a little bit more expensive, but you know. That guy lost his hair in his 20s. Hi, mom. Yeah, I'm talking about your friend. So, yeah, that guy lost his hair in his 20s. It just, it started falling at some point. Now listen, I don't know if it's true, I don't know if soap is damaging your hair. I tried looking that up on Google, but I found nothing. So I don't know if it's true, maybe it was because I was a kid and that really stuck in my brain. Just like an instinct, you know, don't use soap on your hair or it will fall off. <laughs> You'll be bold, so don't do that. Yeah, when that brow trend started, I was like, am I willing to try it i'm very confused i don't want to lose my brows after you know a few years of using soap on them i think i'm gonna stick with the brow gels again maybe that guy you know it was in his dna to get bald in his 20s maybe his father got bald in his 20s so you know he got that from him i don't know but maybe it was the the, the soap i can never know and i can't ask him is your father bald when did he lost his hair it, it's just not a question that you ask people <laughs> it's a good brow day today oh they look intense they look so full and thick I love them. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts on the soap trend. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I should try it. Maybe I should not. Confused, 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 confused. I'm confused about 99% of the things in life. I'm gonna be 24 in December and I slowly start realizing stuff and how our world works. And it's, first of all, scary. Second of all, confusing. Third, I don't even know what's the third thing. I feel like I'm going through some, some kind of a life crisis. I start realizing stuff. Okay, first time using this concealer on my eyes. And that's a very, very light shade of concealer. I'm gonna need a little bit more, but this is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer in Snow. Wow, that's gonna be a perfect eyeshadow primer thing. But did I say that I love it? I love it. If my eyeshadow base is a little bit lighter, that will make the shadows come out a lot more vibrant. I'm gonna go ahead and use some powder to set my crease. I'm gonna try not to bring it on my eyelid. I'm using the Essence, what it is, All About Matte. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Nice. For today's look, I'm gonna use some of the shadows from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I'm gonna take Weekender, this one here. I don't want to be wearing some crazy colors on my eyes today. I still want to wear something blue, but I don't know how that will go. Because after I get my bangs cut, I need to go get a pillow for this head. <laughs> the pillow that I'm sleeping on, it's really bad. It makes my shoulders hurt. It makes my neck hurt. I need to get rid of it. I need to get a new one. I'm going to take the shade Riff. I'm at a point of my life that I get excited because I'm gonna go buy a pillow for myself. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this orangey shade right here. I just wanna add some more warmth to my crease. So today, as I said, I wanna use... I wanna use something blue on my eyes. Why this looks green on camera? I don't know, it's an, it's an interesting color. It's not blue, it's not green, it's something like 
turquoise i told you that i'm bad at explaining colors okay so <laughs> I'm gonna have everything that I'm using on my face today listed down in the description box. So, this eyeshadow, I think I'm gonna use my fingers for this. Let me just make sure that my finger is clean. Okay, let's do that. Here we go. This is going to be the first time that I'm wearing this eyeshadow, so really excited. It's bright. Let's see, you guys. Whoa. Yeah, this is beautiful. I'm sure that you guys wanna know how my no sweets november is going i'm sure that you want that update <laughs> i keep reminding myself that i'm a strong independent woman that doesn't need chocolate in her life but it's going awful it doesn't work it's day 13 for me from the no sweets november thing and i've already messed up three times here we go i admit it but listen it's not what you think it's exactly what you think but listen <laughs> so the first time that i messed up <laughs> it feels weird actually admitting that i failed but I think that I should. I don't want you to think that I'm perfect because I'm not. But the first time that I failed, we were invited for dinner at our friend's house and they had homemade tiramisu. Tiramisu? What is the right way to say it? Tiramisu? 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 I feel like I'm saying the same thing. Tiramisu. This. I tried saying no, you know that I didn't. I tried saying that I'm on that November no sweets thing mission. I didn't even mention it, <laughs> but they insisted. That's true. I just, I couldn't, you guys. I couldn't. I couldn't say no. Did I regret it? No. <laughs> I would do it again if I had to. <laughs> and obviously I did. I did it two more times. The second time that I failed. I was with my boyfriend watching TV. We were watching that TV show called The 100. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen it, you should. It's really cool. If you like sci-fi and fantasy stuff, it's really nice. So yeah, anyways. So my boyfriend decided that, hmm, I want to have some chocolate right now. And you guys know that if your boyfriend has chocolate, you can't let him have it all by himself excuse me not only chocolate any kind of food if he is eating something he has to share he's obligated to share okay it's just something that boyfriends do even if they don't want to he didn't have chocolate that night he had one of those i just don't know how to explain what they are they're crunchy they're delicious they're amazing the difficult part was the crunch part because i could hear him eating them i just i thought okay i'm just gonna ignore him i'm gonna be strong and i was i was strong for two minutes something okay it's uh, i tried mm -hmm. yeah that was the second time that i failed now i'm just gonna take a mixture of these two colors and smudge them under my eyes so that we can you know move forward with this look because because i feel like i'm talking too much and not doing my makeup yeah that was the second time that i failed the third time it was his birthday <laughs> how dare he how dare he celebrate his birthday with cake just couldn't you guys i couldn't that chocolate cake was it was so good. I don't even I don't even regret it. When it comes to chocolate cake, no regrets. Have that cake. Life is too short. My boyfriend, he just want to enjoy life and I'm like, "We're cutting sugar for a month." He was like, "How about no? I'm going to skip on this one. Okay, you can do that yourself. I'm not joining you." I understand him. I didn't even join myself. <laughs> I betrayed myself. Anyways, I wanted to mention that you guys because I don't want you to think that I have that discipline. I don't. I'm gonna just apply some winged eyeliner. This is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Liner. So, um, what is my plan from now on with that no switch thing? Well, let me do my eyeliner first because I can't talk. <laughs> Whoa, you guys, I wanna tell you what just happened. A crazy pair of lashes attacked me and now they're stuck on my eyes. Love it. Not mad. At all. I don't know what pair are those i have this uh box i don't know i think that people store pills in these <laughs> but i use them you know to store my lashes if i'm wearing falsies i just you know take them off and i put them inside here it's really really convenient and also sometimes if i lose the box of the lashes i also put them inside here so that they can be safe and yeah it's really convenient i have a couple of those this one is empty only this pair of lashes was inside but anyways what am i doing for my no sweets thing see i decided to just 
live life let me just contour my face i think that i'm just overthinking so many stuff at the same time and it's burning my brain <laughs> I think that at some point I just started overthinking it and I convinced myself that I'm having too much where I don't. It just happened that I had a lot of chocolate like for a few weeks, but in general I'm I'm pretty good at staying away from it. I mean, I'm not gonna go and get myself cookies, you know? If somebody else gets me cookies, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat them. I don't wanna be rude, you know? But, you know, in general, like, if somebody gives me a box of cookies, I'm gonna have one cookie. I'm not gonna eat them all. Like, I know how to, to push the brakes and stop. So, what I decided to do, I just decided to live my life and if life brings me chocolate, I'm gonna have it, but I'm not gonna go and buy myself chocolate without any reason. I don't think that I should be stressing too much about that. If we're going out with friends, yeah, I'm gonna have a dessert. Or if it's my boyfriend's birthday, yeah, I'm gonna have some cake. <laughs> I don't wanna stress too much. You can have anything that you want as long as it's in moderation. Where did I put my blush? My blush, my blush. Where are you, my blush? Hmm interesting so guys it's my birthday in a month december 5th super excited for that this is the becca shimmering skin perfector in moonstone i think that for my next get ready with me i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you guys to ask me questions on instagram so i can get ready and also answer your questions yeah it's going to be fun what do you think i wanted to talk about something but i forgot Oh, right, I remember. It's been so rainy outside these days. I hate it, but I also love it. Please help me decide what I feel. I think I had too much coffee today. No, listen, I hate it because it makes my windows dirty. I need to clean my windows now. And I hate doing that. This is my least favorite thing to do. I love it because... It feels so cozy to be home. It feels so nice. I woke up this morning and it was raining outside. It was the best feeling ever. I'm gonna line my lips now. I'm using a lip pencil by Lord & Berry in the shade Tent Nude. And on top, I'm going with a lipstick by Tarte in the shade Colada. And some white pencil in my waterline. I think I need some glow. I feel like I'm a little bit too matte i just need some glow i want to be shining today this thing by ColourPop. oh it's so good want to see a magic happening check it out okay you ready here we go Ooh, beautiful it's really pretty i'm gonna spray my face with it i was sleeping last night you guys as most people do but <laughs> i'm a very heavy sleeper okay almost nothing wakes me up i'm serious it's an issue sometimes i'm a very heavy sleeper and that massive thunder it woke me up we had a thunderstorm last night here and it was brutal i'm talking about some very very noisy thunders out there okay they have no respect for the sleeping people they should be ashamed but yeah that there was that massive thunder that woke me up it was scary because you know i just remember that i woke up because i heard a very loud noise but i couldn't figure out what was that loud noise so it was really scary until i find out that there is a thunderstorm outside <laughs> in the next video i'm gonna have my bangs again let me show you how long they got okay this video is going to be very long but it's okay who cares okay <laughs> these are my little bangs and they're See, they reach my nose. <laughs> they got super long. Check them out. <laughs> kind of excited for that. I don't know if it's the right thing to do. But it's okay. One life. Who cares? So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I just wanted to talk to somebody. So, I decided to talk to my camera. <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed watching. I really, really loved my previous Get Ready With Me. I thought that it was such a fun video and i enjoyed filming it i enjoyed editing it it was a it was a nice video and i saw that you guys loved that video so that made me really happy and i thought i'm gonna do more of those so if you don't follow me on instagram definitely go and do it now if you have instagram if you're not on instagram well 
it's fine <laughs> you don't have to be on there but if you're on instagram go follow me because in my next get ready with me i think that i'm gonna do that thing in the instagram stories where you can send me your questions so yeah it's gonna be fun i think i hope i don't know we'll see <laughs> also i'm doing some instagram exclusive makeup tutorials so you can check them out too hope you guys have a good day night whatever you are whatever you're doing just have fun and remember to be kind to everybody hope you enjoyed watching i want to give you a huge hug right now but i can't because you're somewhere else in the world give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching because it helps me a lot and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already press that bell button which you can see right next to the subscribe button because that way you will get a notification whenever i post a new video i'm also on instagram facebook twitter i'll have links to all of those down in the description box thank you so 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 much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye